New AI tech may help some people speak again through a device that reads brain signals, according to a new study in the journal Nature. For those like Ann Johnson, who lost her ability to speak at 30 years old after a stroke, it's a glimmer of hope. And experts say it's the first time spoken words and facial expressions have been decoded like this. Anything is possible. Johnson chose this avatar with a voice that was synthesized from a video filmed at her wedding. I will meet you there. The study's researchers say their work relied on Johnson, whose stroke damaged her brain stem and left her without the ability to talk or move her arms. They say their AI tool can receive and record the signals from her brain and relay them through the avatar. Kalo Littlejohn is one of the lead authors of the study from the Chang Lab at UC San Francisco and UC Berkeley. In a nutshell, a neural recording device is placed onto the surface of Anne's brain. That those signals recorded from her brain are then sent to a pedestal screwed on top of her skull and then to a computer where an AI model converts the neural signals into decoded text, audible speech synthesis, and avatar facial animation. Wait for the rest of that. And then those outputs are then displayed to both her and anyone who is watching. And this would ideally allow her to communicate using a brain-to-speech neuroprosthesis. Johnson's current device, a letter board, can only help her spell out letters. The researchers claim their AI system can perform five times faster. The decoding system operates about 78 words per minute. So for context, natural human speech is about 150 words per minute if we're having, say, a conversation. But her current AAC, or uh, assistive communication device, um, she kind of has like a letter board that she can use to, and make small head movements to spell out letters, operates at about 14 words per minute. Researchers are working to improve the machine and eventually help patients to convey their thoughts more accurately. I think you are wonderful. They also hope to make smaller wireless versions that are easier to use. It was very encouraging and uh, very exciting. For me personally, it was, I found it to be emotional and heartwarming um, just to see all of this work come to fruition and, and know that we actually can decode speech from the brain. And this was a very first proof of principle of intelligible speech synthesis and avatar control from someone who can't speak. Mm -hmm.